Hi, I'm Dr. Lily, and today we're gonna to talk about why you have to take your antibiotics all the way until they're done. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at my pocket, pediatrician. Hi, I'm Dr. Lily, and this is my pocket pediatrician. Today we're gonna to talk about why you have to finish your antibiotics. So a friend of mine uh, recently told me, well, my son's got a little bit of fever and runny nose. I think I'm gonna give him some of the amoxicillin I have left over from the last time he was sick. And she's not alone. I have people telling me this all the time in the ER. There are always people in there saying, oh, well, I gave him some of his brother's medicine. You know, his cousin had been sick and there was some leftover medicine. We never finished that other medicine, so we just went ahead and gave it to him. I already gave him three doses of amoxicillin, so just take a look in his ear and tell me if it's infected or not. I really hate when people do this and all pediatricians do. Uh, there's a couple reasons for it. One, you have to take your medicine until it's finished when it's prescribed. If a doctor is prescribing you an antibiotic, then there's a reason for it. There's a specific infection that we feel is caused by a bacteria and we need to treat that infection. Every illness has a different recommendation for how long you're supposed to treat it, and that's because they've studied it over a long period of time and determined, okay, for ear infections, you need to take it for this long at this high dose, or for a strep throat infection, you take a lower dose, but you have to take it for a longer time to completely eradicate the infection. This has been studied extensively in laboratories and then again in populations, so this data is good and it's important that you actually follow through on it. If you decide to stop taking your antibiotic before the prescribed course is completed, then what you're doing is you're leaving behind the strong kind of mutant bacteria that are still there and are gonna actually overgrow and come back and be a much worse infection. So if you think about it like you're fighting a war and your antibiotic's winning, it's killing off all the little bad guys. You know, the first six days of a 10-day course, you've killed off 85, 90% of your bacteria and you're feeling really great, your child is wonderful, they're running around, and you just think, gosh, my kid doesn't like to take medicine, I don't wanna go through this anymore fighting them, I'm just gonna stop the rest of the antibiotic. What you've done there is you've left that 10 to 15% of bacteria that the antibiotic didn't kill. And so what that means is those are kind of the mutant ones, the ones that are super strong, and what's gonna happen is that you're giving them a chance to reproduce and grow without that antibiotic there to finish off that last little bit, and all of a sudden, you're gonna lose the war because you gave up on the last battle. And that's really what's happening is that you get these mutant kind of resistant bugs growing because people stop taking antibiotics and then these mutated bacteria can grow and reproduce and all of a sudden they're having a heyday. And then we get all these bacteria that nobody can treat. So everybody's kind of heard of MRSA, which is M-R-S-A, which means methicillin resistant staph aureus. So a staph infection is a very common type of bacteria. It's something that causes a lot of different types of infections, and usually methicillin will treat any staph infection. So methicillin is a type of antibiotic, but we've misused antibiotics so much that now methicillin does not treat a lot of staph infections, and so those are called MRSA. These are kind of some of the super bugs that you hear about. Sometimes they talk about them in the news. There's a bunch of other ones vank resistant enterococcus, there's a lot of different types of them. And once you get these infections, you're more prone to continue to get them. So people who have MRSA tend to get recurrent boils and abscesses on their body. It is not something pleasant. You don't wanna do this to your child. So if your child has been prescribed an antibiotic, you wanna take it all the way through. You also wanna know what you're treating. So if somebody's telling you your child should take an antibiotic just in case, that's not a good reason. There should be an actual bacterial infection that you're treating, such as pneumonia or strep, or an ear infection or something along those lines. But you shouldn't be taking antibiotics just kind of willy-nilly. The other part of what my friend said that upset me was that she was gonna go ahead and give him an antibiotic without having a good reason. She said her child had a runny nose and a fever. Most likely that's a virus. So the antibiotic's not gonna be effective at all for that. And she's just really gonna be wasting time, wasting effort, and she should have taken that antibiotic the last time he was sick. Misuse of antibiotics has become a huge problem in the US and around the world. We have to be kind of good stewards and only prescribe antibiotics when they're absolutely needed. And then when they are prescribed, take them all the way till they're finished. Otherwise, we're gonna keep on creating these super bugs and eventually we're gonna have to take antibiotics that are so strong, they're gonna wipe out everything else. If you get a MRSA infection, you then have to take a stronger antibiotic, such as clindamycin or one of those type of antibiotics, and those antibiotics can have a lot more side effects. When we're looking at what type of antibiotic to use, there's something called broad spectrum and narrow spectrum. If we know what the infection is most likely to be caused, we can use a narrow spectrum antibiotic, which is really targeted and can kind of just hone in exactly on what we want to kill and nothing else. But when we get to where we have to use broad spectrum antibiotics, that means they kill everything. They wipe it all out. And what does that mean? It means it also wipes out all the good flora in your gut. So 
In your digestive tract, you have all kinds of good bacteria that are in there and they help you digest your food. And when you kill those out, you wind up with diarrhea, with long-term kind of digestive issues and you don't want to do that. You want to take the most targeted focused antibiotic that you can so that it will have the least amount of side effects. Please be responsible. If you're prescribed an antibiotic, know what it's for. Take it all the way till it's finished and then don't give yourself any extra. If it's when you're done and if there's some extra left over, like the pharmacist gave you too much, just throw it out. Don't save it for later. There's no reason to do that. This is Dr. Lilly with My Pocket Pediatrician. I hope you learned something today. Please subscribe below, ask questions. I'm happy to, to hear any comments, what you think about this. And uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks for checking in with my pocket pediatrician. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at my pocket pediatrician.